those barges knows how to swim because we haven't tried them yet. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if, if you want me to do it in both languages, Spanish and English, or it's okay only in English. It's okay? English? Both. Allá, en la, para la televisión. Entonces, les digo que estamos muy emocionados de este día porque es el día en el que vamos a votar a las barcas que trajeron desde México, que están súper diseñadas, que están increíbles los diseños, y que les digo que las personas que van a subirse a las barcas, que ojalá que sepan nadar porque es la primera vez que van a estar en el agua, o sea que, pero es broma, claro que es broma. Estamos muy emocionados el día de hoy, que están con todos nosotros aquí, para este día tan especial. And we're going to start, well, this morning, this event, first presenting the Children's Ballet of San Antonio. The Children's Ballet of San Antonio hopes to inspire passion and love for the performing arts for San Antonio's community. Y vamos a empezar esta mañana con el ballet de niños de San Antonio. Así que demos la bienvenida con un aplauso. San Antonio Children's Ballet. <laughs> Thank you. 
They're not dancing ballet specifically, as we've seen, so they did a pretty good job. Les digo que es el ballet, el children's ballet de San Antonio, es la primera vez que no bailan nada más ballet, sino algo de contemporáneo, hicieron un gran trabajo, así que gracias por su aplauso. Ahora quisiera presentarles que gracias a este señor tan creativo existe Day of the Dead San Antonio, claro que junto con muchas otras personas, pero les quiero presentar al fundador y CEO of Day of the Dead San Antonio, Javier Luis Galindo. I want to present you, it's a pleasure for me to introduce you to the founder and CEO of Day of the Dead San Antonio, Javier Luis Galindo, and also a great chef that we all know and love here in San Antonio, Johnny Hernandez, y también al chef Johnny Hernandez. Bienvenidos. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. It is, it is a very nice and emotional day, and the sun is beautiful. So uh, thank you for being here. Th you know, thank you for helping us through the way on, on day to day. And we will, we will talk about the barges in a little bit. We just want to thank some guests. And, uh, and I will let Johnny continue with it. Good morning, everyone. So, Thank you for being here. I know we have uh, some special guests, uh, Councilman uh, Perry, Melissa Haberda, Rebecca Villagran, and Shirley. Thank you, our council people from, uh, from San Antonio. Gracias. I, and I know we have a few visitors. So those that are visiting San Antonio and getting to, uh, to uh, look at the sneak peek of our, our river parade that's gonna happen on November 1st, welcome to our city. Thank you for being here. <laughs> so. We, this river parade, uh, today what we want to do is show you just a sneak peek at the production. There is so much going on on the production of this parade, it's, it's unbelievable. And what we hope is that on November 1st, when everyone sees San Antonio, that whether it's on TV or it's live here at La Vita, they get to see a beautiful San Antonio, that they get to see us celebrating Day of the Dead, which is a special, special, celebration of humanity and it is part of our local heritage so I know there's a lot of pride and a, and a lot of emotion behind this celebration and my hope is that everyone comes together celebrates it in their own special way so thank you all for being here I do want to introduce our special partner which is Ray Feo we have our Thomas Aguiar our Ray Feo <laughs> And, and Charlie Garza and the Ray Feo, they are partners on this river parade because it's essentially important that as a, as a local, as a business, uh, a business owner here in our community, that we give back. And partnering with the Ray Feo was key for us. And I have a lot of respect for Javier because every, every time that I've wanted to introduce another piece or another element to this event, he has, with, he has openly uh, accepted a partnership with, with some with a community partner like Ray Feo who gives back so much back to the community. So there are important partners for this parade and I wanted Charlie to just say a few words. Thank you, Chef. Javier, congratulations. I met Javier about five months ago and he showed me his vision and in no doubt we said we wanted to be partners. So Javier, thank you. We're really happy to have our Ray Fail, number 72, Tomas Algayon. He raised over $300,000 in five months, so we, we appreciate that. But again, 
We're really happy to be partners co-hosting the parade on November 1st. Uh, King, if you want to say anything, this is actually his first official appearance as our Ray Fayo 72, so give it up. Well, thank you, Charlie. Uh, I simply want to say, it is my first time and trying to keep everything together, but I simply want to say I'm looking forward to a, a world-class event in our world-class city with the world-class organization that we're partnering with. So thank you, and this will be my very first one. So, Viva Fiesta! And now I would like to invite uh, Andres Munoz, who's the director of marketing of uh, Visit San Antonio, and thank again Visit San Antonio for their support and for doing so much to bring tourism to, to our city. Andres, please. Thank you, Javier. Thank you, Javier, and thank you, everybody, for, for, for coming in uh, to the sneak peek of the Day of the Dead celebration today. Visit San Antonio is incredibly excited about this type of events to coming to San Antonio. And that is because of the type of exposure that this event gives our city is priceless. Uh, Univision will be in town with many of their shows broadcasting live as well as Televisa broadcasting in Mexico, uh, helping position the city as that authentic and unique destination that we are. So we celebrate it and hopefully you get to invite your friends and bring everybody that you know to get a sneak peek of all of the events that happen around uh, the Day of the Dead in San Antonio. So thank you, Javier, for all your production team, and thank you, everybody, for coming today. And I, I want to take a minute also to thank our partners, uh, Go Rio and the Riverwalk Association. Uh, it's our first parade that we do. They've been patient. Last night we did a test drive till 1.30 in the morning and they were all, you know, so happy and helping us. Thank you both, Go Rio and Riverwalk Association, for all your help. And now I would like to introduce our Archbishop, which is an honor to have him here, Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Seller, to please uh, come and, and do a, a, a brief blessing for our barges before they, you start looking at them. Archbishop, thank you. Well, as we are ready to celebrate every year the All Souls Day, that is the day in which we recall all the members of our family, friends, uh, the neighbors who have passed away. Um, I was asked to give a blessing. The grace and peace of God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and with your spirit. Today we gather to bless these barges and those who will use them for Dia de los Muertos, a celebration that is so dear to everyone as we recognize the lives of those people meaningful in our lives. We commend those who will use these crafts into God's grace and God's care so that it will be a time of enjoy enjoyment, respect, and peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. You know our hearts and our plans, and guide all that we do for your glory. Bless us as we continue to do your work for the Katrinas on the River Parade, and bless all that we do for you. Bless these barges that we're going to see in a short time and those who will use them. Help us to ensure that the parade, as we remember our departed brothers and sisters, will be safe and successful. That will bring peace and gratitude to people's hearts. Help us to carry all our activities for your honor and glory, and for the salvation of your people. Guide us in all we do, and help us to build up your kingdom, and come to our reward. We praise your name forever and ever. 
And may the saving power of our Lord guide and protect everyone involved in this new program for our city. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Archbishop. So, I guess we're gonna begin our little sneak peek. And um, our first barge is, is our Day of the Dead barge. Wait one minute, sorry. So now we begin with our sneak peek. I forgot that we had our, our mariachi, Roy Tintero, has been with me, and it's the first time that I see him as a calavera, so I'm very happy. <laughs> All right, so our first barge that's coming, it's our insignia barge, it's the Day of the Dead barge, and uh, at the front has one of the 45 skulls that we're bringing to San Antonio. And this was painted, like 15 more are being painted by local artists in San Antonio. And we're very happy to see that we, we're going to have a beautiful mix of local artists and Mexican artists with our collection. On the back of, uh, of this Catrinera or the barge, we have our Tejano. These are also our designs, our Catrina and Tejano, that will 
you know, we will ha also have some of these ventures for photo opportunities in different places. And we want to thank, of course, HEB, who's our presenting sponsor. So, uh, you know, this is our first batch, and uh, this was made by Edgar Lozano, which I consider him a great artist. I want to thank him. I know he's in the audience. He did a fantastic job. And uh, last night we went through the, through the bridges, and we barely made it, but we did. So thank you very much. And, uh, you know, if you, if you want to take some pictures, please. Thank you so much. Then our next barge is our lottery or lottery barge that is coming around the corner. We all know that uh, in Mexico, Loteria is a very, very old and famous game. So we decided that bringing a barge that would resemble such uh, uh, a, a traditional game that we, we play since we're very little. Uh, again, the, the, the barges, when, when we have them on November 1st, they're going to be all lit and it's going to be incredible. They have incredible lights. Uh, to, now it's daytime, but we wanted to give also a little bit of that surprise for you. So this is our Loteria barge, and this was made by uh, Eduardo Yasmasif and his crew and his team, and it was also a beautiful job done. Thank you, Eduardo. It's beautiful, and we play Loteria with something we eat, a very characteristic yes. of Mexico, with frijoles. Have you ever played Loteria with a frijolito? I bet you have. And, and again, there's surprises for this Loteria barge for the no November the 1st. There's going to be a lot of live people in it, so yeah, it will be just fun. They got to bring the Loteria sign down or the bridge won't let it go. There we go. Thank you, guys. They have to manage how to make them bigger, but fit under the bridges, right? We like everything big. <laughs> okay, so now we have um, the monarchas, uh, the butterflies. Our monarcha barge is it's, it's all lit, and this, this is something that you will appreciate a lot more on November the 1st. There's, there's a lot more pieces that are, that are involving it. But for the sneak peek, we really wanted to test the width, the height, and uh, I think it's, you know, when you see it in November, it's going to be amazing. Every butterfly lights, there's going to be live butterflies on it, and uh, this was made by Arzumex also, another, another great company in Mexico that we thank. And uh, wait till you see it in November 1st, all lit and all finished, it's amazing, the, the, you know, the barge itself. So thank you, Arzumek. And it's a woman who's navigating it, so wonderful. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing how incredible these drivers are. Last night we were over, you know, under all the bridges, no problem. It was just great. Tell them the truth that you have to put very uh, a lot of weight because we we went bigger than we thought, no? Uh, well, yes, <laughs> <laughs> we did. Right, so the there, there, there was a little bit of experience yesterday. Our our last barge for this little test sneak peek is is our our Frida and Diego barge, and. Um, you know, again, like all the other barges, it lights beautiful at, at night. And uh, this work is made by, by El Volador, who's 
an incredible uh, and very experienced producer in Mexico, has worked in many parades around the world, just finished Lille in France, and uh, we want to thank him and his team because it's an amazing barge. We would like to, to keep it a little bit for some pictures here. Uh, and again, when we saw it last night, it was such a wonder to see it all lit and uh, And also tell them that at night they have their own lighting, right, Javier? Yes. They, they look amazing at night, so you have to come on the 1st of November and see this parade because it's going to be unbelievable. If you like it during the day, you'll just die during the night. And as, as Johnny said, you can't imagine how much work is behind all of this parade. And, and I love Javier because he's, he's so strict with all the details and all of everything, that everything is just perfect that I am sure you're going to have a, a blast those three days, so come. Thank you. And uh, I also want to, I, I know that uh, uh, Vic and Christine Phipps are around here. Raise your hands. Where are you? Okay. Thank you for coming. They will be our first Katrinas and Katrina for, for Day of the Dead 2019. And um, we will see them all dressed and all our face painted very soon. Thank you for being here and thank you for all the support. And this is part of our team. No. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for all of, of you helping us. Thank you for the council and for the, uh, you know, everybody that has been supporting us. And thank you for being here. God bless you. Adios. I would like to ask, please, if all the councilmen, the Gold Rio Association, and uh, who else? Riverwalk, can they come here, for, please, for a picture? Thank you. Andres and Johnny, 